All right, guys, this one here is about turn tilt. And in float control, I call it carve tilt, just to emphasize it's really intended for carving, not for turning. This is not a feature that fixes IMU issues when you're doing a tight U-turn um, to prevent your nose from scraping or something like that. It's really meant for carving at slightly higher speeds. Also, the intensity and the whole effect is based on yaw, meaning actual turning, not based on roll, because you can easily roll your board while still going straight, like riding off camber stuff or going through rough terrain, your board will tilt left and right. So roll is being completely ignored. Instead, we're just looking at yaw, how much you're actually turning the board. So there are several parameters that are not available in float control because if it were up to me, they would have never been exposed to the user. It wasn't really meant to be tuned, but uh, I'll talk about those later. Here, the most important ones are in float control and that is strength, max angle, and the minimum ERPM. So on the pump track last week in San Diego, I had it cranked up to 12 because I really wanted to get the maximum nose tilt that I can get in those banked turns. Um, and I think I had the angle also increased to four. For normal riding, I recommend something between nine and 10 if you really, if you like carving. Um, if you want the nose to stay flat, just turn it off. The ERPM threshold is the minimum ERPM before the turn tilt back kicks in. So I don't even know why it's down to 1000. I wanted it higher uh, because I want that carving effect really when I'm intentionally carving, not just when I'm fooling around at low speed. So those are the key parameters and the rest we can talk about in the vest tool. So now let's go into the vest tool in float config. You will find turn tilt in tune modifiers. And where is it here at the bottom? So you can see strength, angle limit and ERPM threshold. Those are the first three and those are the ones we just talked about in float control. Now we have the maximum tilt back speed. So this is it defaults to five degrees a second. You can increase that if you wanted to tilt faster, but typically I really see no need for that. Um, speed boost, if you look at the help, it basically increases the strength based on your speed. As you get faster, it makes the response to that, to, to turning more intense. Uh, so 200% means at the most it will double it. And the, the next one is the speed boost max ERPM. 5,000 miles, I mean, 5,000 ERPM is about 10 miles an hour. So at 10 miles an hour and onward, you would get the full effect of the turn tilt. Now, the next one is the aggregate target. And so this one is a bit more complicated. That's why you really shouldn't mess with it. But the whole idea is that once it has detected that you have gone all the way like to a, a 90 degree turn. So if you're really carving hard at that point, you would get the full effect. So that would be you know, in a banked turn, in a pump track, you would definitely get it. The aggregate will go up to 180, obviously, if it's a turn that takes you back in the other direction. So 90 degrees seems like a reasonable value and yep, you can tune it, but I wouldn't mess with it if I were you. And then the next one is uh, the threshold. So anything below two degrees will basically be completely ignored. So if you're just like moving your board left and right a little bit, then um, that is the threshold it will ignore before it starts tilting your nose a bit to give you that pushback effect. Um, you can increase it a little bit, yeah, especially if you feel like it's making your board a bit too nervous. And um, 
something like even five or 10 degrees should be pretty good and still give you a pretty decent um, turn tilt response. So that's all we got. It's pretty simple, but roll is not being factored in. By the way, one feature in float control that can be useful for tuning turn tilt and ATR and all those tilts is if you long press the duty cycle dial, you will see all the different set points. So now I'm basically going and like in a doing S turns on a trail and you can see how I'm, I keep getting this carve response and ATR is barely kicking in because it is fairly flat. Now I'm going up a little incline. So um, that helps you determine if, uh, if your nose starts tilting and you feel like you wanna know where that's coming from, that will tell you which one of all the different settings is contributing to the turn tilt. I mean, is contributing to the nose lift.